Welcome back. You're with us on Trading Hour. SEBI is now proposing that asset managers set up uh, a brand new asset class. I, I'm, I'm not making this up. It's really called a new asset class in the new consultation paper that SEBI put forth. Now, what is this all about? Basically, SEBI is saying that maybe it's time for the market to evolve and for a product that can sit in between plain vanilla mutual funds as well as uh, portfolio management services. PMS, of course, the threshold is 50 lakhs. For this new asset class that's being proposed, the threshold for uh, ordinary investors will be much lower, as low as 10 lakh rupees. The idea is that perhaps the market can have uh, a product which has a slightly higher superior risk-adjusted return profile. How will this work and what is the industry's feedback on it? Well, let's uh, discuss this with um, Mr. D.P. Singh, D Deputy Managing Director and Joint CEO of SBI Mutual Fund. Mr. Singh, always a pleasure to have you in the studio and there's so much to talk about today. We thought we'll talk to you about budget expectations, but then SEBI is always offering something new and exciting, right? So let's start with this first. I mean, the concept of having a brand new asset class, a new product altogether. What's your first yeah. take? Yeah, thank you, Survey. Thank you very much for having me on the show. And uh, see, honestly speaking, we are, we are also excited to have a consultation paper on this asset class because we strongly feel that there's a niche of investors who, who are actually ready to take a little higher risk. But uh, Savvy feels that they still need some, some regulations, regulatory platform, which is lighter than the, the mutual fund regulations, but uh, uh, it's a little tighter than the, uh, the PMS regulations. Today, the PMS regulations are very uh, loosely then so that, because the idea is that the, anybody who's putting more than 50 lakh rupees is really, really an evolved investor. And he knows about his risk appetite, about the, uh, and the risk taking capabilities also more. But this 10 lakh to 50 lakh is a class which has become 10 lakhs over the period of time with the macro market also, and they want to, they are ready to take higher risk. So that's that's a very, very welcome uh, step by SEBI. Because today we cannot do derivatives or anything which we can use derivatives in mutual fund platform only for the hedging purposes. But as a strategy, the long shot kind of fund and uh, having a call or working on behalf of investors as an aggregator, and giving them some better return on the basis of the skill set, which has all, which is already there in mutual funds. Mm. So that's, mm. that's something I, I think uh, uh, will be able to uh, create good value for the investor in the times to come. But since, so, sir, uh, yeah. So, so allow, allow me to actually focus on that first. Uh, I don't think the eligibility criteria will be uh, an issue for most, uh, you know, uh, asset management companies because it's three years of ex existence and average uh, AUM of ten thousand. Oh, that's, 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 that's not that's, that's not an that's not a concern. A lot of a lot of managers will meet that, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, let's focus on some of uh, the things that this consultation paper is speaking about. For instance, exposure to derivatives. It's saying that the exposure is going to be allowed for purposes other than hedging and rebalancing. But yeah. there are certain caps that total exposure to derivatives should not exceed 50% of uh, net assets. Uh, exposure yeah. to single stock via derivatives should not exceed 10% of net assets. So just yeah. you yeah. know, uh, explain this to us that uh, will this really help offering a product which could which could potentially have a bit better return profile no, definitely see as i said the mutual fund platform is uh, such that where the regulations are very very tight and that has been kept so because uh, see regulator wants that the interests of the investors especially those who are coming to the, for the first time are protected to the maximum extent there should not be any room for uh, mismanagement or uh, mis-selling that, that uh, the mandate of investor is something and uh, the mutual funds are behaving in, behaving in a different manner, the uh, the uh, manufacturers. The, to take care of that, now, now they're saying that there's a big asset class, which is actually true, that over the period of time, over the period of last four or five years, the, the surpluses in the hands of investors have gone back. Share. and and people are really the mutual funds are rather than the argument of why can't i do it myself why should i come to mutual funds so on and so forth but mutual funds honestly speaking have a lot of other skill sets which we are able to uh, showcase also in, in the in, in pmss and other classes uh, for example if i talk about the long short fund we are already having one long short fund which is taking active calls and derivatives 
that fund in gift city is generated 5% alpha by uh, actually investing only 57 58% so that we are not able to those kind of things we are not able to offer this thing once this consultation paper becomes a reality and uh, with the kind of uh, uh, with your your question of that that they are put in some condition that rightly so that we won't, don't no, want sir, to returns my question sir yeah. my my question see at the end of the day the investor is chasing returns. If an investor is trying to go away from plain vanilla funds, it is in the lure of higher returns, right, elsewhere. And that's that's what SEBI is looking to now uh, tap into to reg regularize, regulate and, you know, uh, yeah. bring it uh, on board. So, potent I, I, every time we talk to uh, you folks and your peers in the industry, we are told that an investor should have a reasonable expectation of, let's say, you know, 12% return on a compounded basis over long periods of time. So realistically, what is the superior return that uh, perhaps you are hoping to bring forth with this new asset class? But maybe one thing is very clear, the golden dictum of higher risk, higher ret high return uh, are coming with higher risks. And this category will take higher risk than the mutual fund uh, normal scheme. So naturally, when, when the uh, we are taking higher risk, with the probability of generating higher returns than the mutual fund uh, scheme returns. That, that, that goes along with this. But at the same time, the risks taking also has been limited to an extent which is higher than mutual fund by uh, keeping the limits higher than mutual fund uh, schemes which have been allowed but not whole hog like in pms you can go at any percentage for example sure. uh, they have talked about the reits also now reits yeah. they have increased the number the single issuer limit has been increased to double because that was always an issue when there are lesser issuer in the market we were not able to invest in mutual fund scheme but here we right. can have a portfolio for issuers also giving higher returns. So naturally, it will be beneficial to the investor. So right. over the period of time, it will evolve. But the thought process is very, very uh, say, honest in this, that there is, has to be something in between uh, PMS and uh, uh, say mutual fund scheme. And of course, 10 lakh rupees is also something where we can't say that you can send it to uh, absolutely uh, no as every, anybody who is coming to the market for first time. Sure, so sure, that's sure. also is involved in So I think that this is... This has been discussed also informally before the uh, the consultation paper came up, and and this was the demand of the industry. This was the demand of investing community as well. I think uh, and it has now been the regulator is opening it up. Yeah. It's okay. Positive. All right. All right. I uh, I got that. So we just have uh, you know very few minutes left on the conversation before we let you go because we are running up to the big big event. Budget expectations from the mutual fund industry. Are you are you worried about taxation? Mm -hmm. I, I am I'm really not because the kind of fiscal situation where we are in and the way government is talking about attracting investments, my wish and hope is that um, nothing will change. Even if something changes, honestly speaking, people are not putting all uh, money into the uh, investment schemes or investments just because it is having a preferred tax rate. People are putting in money because they want higher return and they want to be part of the growth trajectory of India. So, a slightly tax changes here or there will not uh, see, make the make the uh, market go heavy. That, that's my firm belief. But my wish and hope again, I'm saying, I think the things will remain as it is. Nothing will change. All right. Uh, well, we investors hope so too, at least on the equity long-term capital gain side. Let's see. We'll have our answers in just the next two days. Thank you very much for joining in today. Let's take a break. We'll come back with more in just a bit.